Hello friends, Jennifer here with JD Designs 75blogspotcom and today I thought I would show you a little bit more about the Regatta Workshop Your Way collection from Close to My Heart. This collection is featured in the Seasonal Expressions 1 Supplemental Idea Book, which is available now through April, end of April 2016. So we're down to the final days on this. We just have till the end of the month. So if there's anything in this supplement that you are looking to purchase, please head over to my online store at jddesigns.ctmh.com before April 30th to get your hands on any of the products in here. So I'm going to go ahead and talk you through the beautiful Workshop Your Way for the Regatta collection. This is a gorgeous nautical collection but not in your true, it's still in that true nautical colors of red and navy, but it's more of a jeweled tone package of those same kind of colors. So instead of the yellow, you get this beautiful flaxen. Instead of the red, we're using our beautiful, gorgeous pomegranate. And then for the navy, there's our gorgeous sapphire. And then they also mixed in the beautiful glacier blue. So with the Workshop Your Way, you are going to get a full paper pack for the Regatta paper packet. You're going to get a full packet of the new style um, complements, which include two sticker sheets, one with titles and the other with lots of fabulous sticker embellishments, as well as a full pack of white foil craft die cut ephemera. You will also get a five yard spool of the white and gold cotton ribbon and a sheet of the Sapphire Maritime Puffies stickers. In addition to all of those pieces, you will also get three bonus sheets of cardstock, two in Glacier and one in Flaxen, and then you will have access online to the Workshop Your Way cutting guide and assembly guide for the three layouts and eight cards designed to go with this collection. So the cutting guides are featured and show you exactly how to cut all your paper to get the best use out of your paper as well as how to assemble in the page maps. And these are great page maps if you even don't want to use them with this paper collection. These are great page maps to have just for using for future layouts and whatnot. So these are definitely worth heading over to my website at jddesigns.ctmh.com and downloading even if you choose not to purchase the Regatta collection. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and we'll put this catalog aside and let's go through the papers in this collection because they're too simply too fabulous not to show you before we get into the layouts. So first up, we have this gorgeous pomegranate and white bow not kind of pattern and then you on the back side you have this beautiful sapphire wave print you also have the gorgeous glacier waves and then the glacier birds the little seagull birds on the back here then you have the flaxen this is just a real neutral print real calm print basic print and on the other side, you have little stars, kind of whimsically kind of looking stars. Then you also have the gorgeous sapphire and white anchors and the fun little paper boats. And then you have the soft white with the soft glacier stripes and this gorgeous ombre, which in the full 12 by 12 sheet fades from the pomegranate to the glacier back to the sapphire so it is simply gorgeous and then you will get two sheets of cut aparts which are basically the picture my life cards so there will be four by three cards and four by six cards on the cut apart sheet and what's great with the new close to my heart setup for the cut apart sheets is you get one that's kind of a horizontal design but on the back side it's the same design but vertical You'll see a little bit more about that when I get into the layouts here. So I'll go ahead and set that aside and we'll pull the layouts in and we'll look at those first. First up you have the You Are Here Adventure layout, 
which this is a fabulous layout just as a one page layout. Make sure I'm in the screen here. Fabulous one page layout, but the companion page to it just makes it a gorgeous two page layout. So we use the same layout on both pages, which is a great way to turn a one page layout into two pages. And we have the beautiful ephemera. I don't know if you can see the white foil there. The beautiful ephemera there. And this will hold two four by sixes and three four by three pictures. Or you can cut them smaller and mat them. Set that one aside. The second layer in this collection is the happy place layout. And this layout features the zip strips here, the white ribbon, and lots of the ephemera pieces and comes together very quickly. Now, another thing to note on this layout is this layout is actually designed to go on the two sheets of the Flaxen b &T, which was this one that I showed you. It's supposed to go on this b &T. This real simple, subtle design is supposed to be the background. I actually pulled two sheets of Flaxen cardstock from my stash and chose to save this paper to use for other products which is definitely an option you can do. And if you're interested in purchasing some of the flax and cardstock, let me know and I'd be happy to help you find the correct item number or find it on my website. And then again, um, here's another layout. This is the third layout in the collection. This is the Simply the Best layout. And this layout was designed to use the Glacier and White Stripe pattern paper for the background. I wanted to save this because I love, I am simply in love with this gorgeous ombre paper and I wanted to use this for some other layouts and really feature that ombre. So I put this just on plain white daisy cardstock and it looks great. I love it. I can't wait to add my pictures from this summer to these layouts. This one here is designed for two four by six photos and then either a four by six or two four by three photos. You can tuck other pictures in if you want or use flip flaps to get more photos on these layouts. There's great spots for journaling. Your titles are already here. They're just simply fabulous layouts. And again, I was able to save some paper here because I cut behind here. Instead of using a full strip of four by 12 B and T, I actually split this and behind here, there's just a gap of white. And then over here, instead of using a full 4x12, I just used a 4x3 piece to allow me to save those extra pieces to use for cards and whatnot because, of course, we're paper crafters and we hoard our paper. And, you know, you don't have to do that. You could easily use them and it would assemble quicker. But I have plans for those and other layouts that I want to make to show you. And then when you're all done, and you'll notice that we're using some of the Picture My Life Cut Apart cards, throughout these layouts. There's two of them. Here's another one. I'm sorry, I should have been pointing those out as I went. Here's another one on this layout. And then over here on the last layout, we ha or on the very first layout I showed you, we have this one here. And we added one of the um, sticker sheet titles to this one. But in when you're all done, you have several of the cards left. And so you can make this fabulous Picture My Life layout using, all you have to do is add your Picture My Life um, pocket pages. And so you'll have a two page layout. And here, let me put some cardstock behind this so you can see it a little bit better. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad, I'll kind of tip it. But you have a title, you have room for a four by six, couple four by threes, another four by six. And if you wanted more pictures, you could pull some of these cards and have room for more pictures and then just stretch your cards farther to create more um, picture my life layouts and so then here's the other page that goes along with this just a fun fun summer vacations beach backyard barbecue this paper is just simply divine for summer so I'll go ahead and set all that aside and then the other thing I wanted to show you like I mentioned um, you'll get once you've completed all your layouts, you have all the extras to complete the two-page Picture My Life layout, as well as eight cards. And the eight cards in this collection, pardon my reach there, will feature the My Anchor stamp set, 
and coordinating thin cuts. Now, as of the time of filming this video, these are both still available. Um, the My Anchor stamp set will be available till April 30th, at which time it will retire. The thin cuts, however, are only, the coordinating thin cuts, are only available while supplies last. And we have already sold out of two of the thin cut sets from SE1, the Seasonal Expressions 1. And we do still have the My Anchor left in stock. Again, as of the time of filming this video. But the thin cuts are great because you can run them through your die cut machine, your cuddle bug, your big shot, any of those kind of die cutting embossing machines, and cut the coordinating images that you can then stamp with using the coordinating images. You can cut, and rather than having to use your scissors, you can actually die cut these out without having to use a Cricut or another mach electronic machine. So I'm absolutely in love with our thin cuts and they come on these beautiful little, I don't know why I said beautiful because it's really just a piece of black magnet, but on these great little magnet carrier sheets in a little bag in a standard stamp envelope so that you can then file these right along with your stamps in your large organizers. Or some consultants and crafters are actually taking them out, getting rid of this envelope and just putting them actually with their stamp set for ease of storage and that way whenever they grab their stamp set they always have their thin cuts with them. So I will go ahead and set this aside and then show you the eight cards that you get to make. So you have these two I'd be lost without you cards. And you have two of the I Just Love Our Adventures Together cards. And then you have two You Are My Anchor cards. Little play on symbols there, play on icons. I love that card. And then this gorgeous um, You Keep Me Afloat card. I'm just in love with the little paper boats. I think they're so fun. So those are the eight cards that come with this collection. So, so far we're up to three double page layouts, a double page picture my life layout, and eight cards. Now real quick, I wanted to show you what you have left over. If you go and cut according to the cutting guide, you will still have some scraps left over. Not a lot, but enough that you could create some bonus projects. So let me go ahead and pull out what you have left over. First of all, you'll have some of the Maritime Puffies left over. You will have quite a bit of the um, white and gold cotton ribbon. And then you will also have several of the, let me, oops, sorry. Let me slide this out of here. You will have several of the um, compliments left over, the stickers and whatnot. So I'll show you what's left over of this. And I will have still shots of this up on my blog. stuck in there a little hard to get out but you will have a good portion of the sticker sheet left over not as much of the title sheet you really only have this one title left over however you do have the negative space of these titles so you could go ahead and mount these on some white daisy card stock or some other card stock cut them out and use the negatives of the sticker sheet here to make titles on other pages and you will have several pieces of the ephemera left so we've got some of the flowers, a couple of the anchors, some of the fun paper boats, a couple of little tags, getting some more flowers, a couple lobsters, some starfish, just a lot of fun little ephemera pieces. Not a ton, but enough that if you wanted to create some bonus layouts or something from your scraps, you would have some to work with there. You will have five full zip strips left over. These five full zip strips that come off the top of all of our BNT paper. The other side gives you the paper name and the colors that coordinate with the collection. But on the back side, rather than waste the paper, um, close to my heart prints a zip strip, which is a great little accent strip that you can use. You will have some of the flax and cardstock left over. 
And then I did have several pieces of some of the other zip strips left over, which I saved because I can tuck them in and kind of flag them and make, just use for little embellishments. If I get down to the very end of this collection and I just have these little strips left, I'll probably just pitch them. But for right now, I hold on to them because you never know what you can use. And then you do have um, a good sized piece of the pomegranate bows and sapphire waves left, as well as some smaller pieces of the paper boats and anchors. You will have, mm, looks like six Picture My Life, or I'm sorry, this is one of the BNTs. Looks like a Picture My Life, but it's actually a BNT. You'll have a chunk of the glacier waves and birds left over. And then you will have five Picture My Life cards left over, which these are great just for putting on the front of a card, put some other card stock behind them, or layer a couple of these together like this and make a beautiful little card front, maybe adding in behind it some other B and T or something, do some sort of a layer on the front of a card. Be a quick and easy card, tie some ribbon on. You will have almost a full sheet of white daisy cardstock left. And you will also have a full sheet of the glacier waves and birds, which this would be great for any kind of summer beach um, pool type layout. This would make a great background on a pool layout. It would be a fun piece. Now, if you do the paper hoarders technique that I used and kind of saving some of your paper, you will have some additional pieces left over. And I was able to save, um, like I said, I saved the background papers. It's, I, instead of using this, I just used white. And I was able to save two sheets of the ombre. And then I was able to save the two flaxen sheets that I will use for other projects. And then I also saved um, a good sized chunk of the anchors in the paper boats, some smaller chunks of the anchors and paper boats, and then a couple strips here of the pomegranate knots and sapphire waves. So that is what I had left over after creating three complete two page layouts. Two picture my life layouts and eight cards. All these projects are 100% complete and they were all completed with the products that come inside the Workshop Your Way kit. And the best part about the Workshop Your Way kit, well, in, in addition to all these fabulous products, is I forgot to mention the price point. You would think a collection like this is probably going to be pretty expensive, right? Wrong. All of this, you can create all of this and have all the leftovers I've shown you for just $26.95. What a deal. Fabulous. But again, this is only available through April 30th, 2016. So head on over to my website at jddesigns.ctmh.com to pick up your Regatta Workshop Your Way collection today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'd be happy to help you. Um, I would also be very happy if you would subscribe to my channel or like this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, kind of showing you and walking you through the collections as well as showing you what's left over, please let me know and I would be happy to continue doing these. But that's all I have for now. So until next time, remember to design from the heart. Bye-bye.